Oh, I'm looking so rough today. Good morning, guys. I have a very exciting shoot with Jovita today. We're doing a collaboration for Onam, and it is pretty early in the morning. I can hear the baby screaming already outside. This is the only time I can get, uh, you know, just to get ready. The lighting is really bad, so I've, uh, you know, just put on my studio light, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I thought I'd take you through behind the scenes. I've never done a collaboration as such with her for Instagram. We did one for YouTube. This was last year, so go check it out because I know a lot of you loved it. And we have that wrapper, you know, which uh, makes it really fun to always collaborate together. But I've been wanting to do this on a video for a very long time. I had the song in my head and I was just waiting for her to, you know, have a time off from her busy schedule and same with me as well and I just thought this would be the perfect opportunity to get together for Onam and do something really fun and I really hope that you know everything gets executed well and you all enjoy it uh, towards the end of the video obviously I will show you the final results of it uh, we went and met the choreographer who put together the entire scenario of uh, you know basically he envisioned the song so well and we performed it and all we needed to do was send that video to the professional photographers and videographers you know that can just put things together and and Jovi and I usually do everything by ourselves lighting editing <laughs> camera person, uh, script writing, all of it by yourself. So it's always nice to get an outside help and get this sorted professionally. So what I'm going to do is in a bit, I'm going to show you what took place behind the scenes of the practice session in Jomita's house yesterday. Uh, and then we will head off to the studio. But before I start, I just want to tell you that this portion of the video is an integration collaboration with Vilva. I'm so excited to once again work with Vilva. You guys know that I've been talking about Vilva for a very long time their aloe vera gel their goat milk shampoo uh, you know all of those are my absolute favorite it's a cult favorite it's their best seller I've spoken about it for the last two three years you guys have been talking about Milva and it's always nice to work with brands that I have resonated with and worked with before and have kept on talking about you know on my channel so once again Vilva and I have collaborated out here and I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to show you two stellar products from Vilva you guys and you know that I wouldn't do any collaboration or I wouldn't even recommend a product until and unless I've tested it out properly and it is absolutely stellar so the first one is the Vilva hair serum this is the anti-frizz hair serum now this hair serum you guys is one of Vilva's current top seller it is is their best seller at the moment it's a very high performing hair serum because it's infused with nourishing black seed oil and curry leaf oil and what it really does it really helps to tame that dry and frizzy hair and plus it's formulated with other plant oil of hibiscus and arnica to impart intense smoothness shine it also gives you that uv protection it has many other incredible ingredients like glycerin arnica oil fenugreek seed extract amla fruit extract plus vitamin e oil i do feel that when it comes to hair fall you can't drastically stop it with just hair products alone it has to be a lifestyle change but I always believe that good hair day always starts with good hair care products and that's equally important you guys and not many people concentrate on a hair serum which is equally important because what a hair serum does is it provides that smoothness that shine it protects the hair shaft from environmental damage and you need to find a serum that will just tame that frizz away that will just make your strands come a little more alive especially if they are very brittle and damaged uh, if you are into hair covering like mine I need that added protection even after I do my hair wash technique so the serum is so lightweight you guys you just have to take about two three pumps of it I love the spray applicator out here that just makes it so easy for you to target the hair strands directly I mean you can just spray that directly or you can just take it between your palm and on damp hair this works the best you can apply this on dry as well as on wet hair but from what I have uh, gathered this works brilliantly on damp hair men can use it women can use it and I feel that even teenagers can use this Nivea has got curly hair so when I want to tame that a little bit I've been using the serum slightly on the end as well because it's got such beneficial ingredients out here so if you've got straight hair you've got curly hair you will enjoy 
this. And it's got that unique fragrance to it that comes from Cypress essential oil. I wouldn't talk about it unless and until I have fallen in love with it. And this is an incredible serum, you guys. Now, the next product I wanted to talk about from Wilva, again, their bestseller. I do not talk about eye creams in general on my channel. And that's only because there are only very few eye creams that really works for me. But during daytime, especially before makeup, if I'm stepping out for a shoot, if I'm stepping out, uh, you know, for an event or something really important and I want my under eye area to be extremely hydrated, I have been enjoying the Vilva eye cream. Please trust me on this. If you're looking out for extra hydration, especially if you've got matured skin, I know that you can apply any moisturizer on your under eye area. But why I love this is because there are certain eye creams that are thin enough that sits beautifully around your, you know, eye area that doesn't leave any sort of white heads afterwards. You need a cream that is very, very lightweight, non-greasy. Plus, it should pack in that hydration. I've been noticing that whenever I apply my concealer and my foundation, especially on this area, it clings onto my skin, you guys. And every time I apply this around my eye area, it's so lightweight. You should see the way concealer and foundation sits on top of that. I have been thoroughly enjoying this. My mom absolutely loves this. But mom prefers something like this that has got natural ingredients around our eye area this doesn't burn and again something that if you're a man you're a woman you can use this this is a new improved formulation you guys and it has even more better high performing ingredients out here so I feel that their reformulated version of the eye cream is much better than the old version it's got witch hazel extract it's also got sunflower seed oil uh, you know it's got goji berry fruit extract which is very high in its antioxidant value it's also got cardamom extract and not many eye creams have got that and cardamom extract is excellent for people who've got pigmentation so if you've got puffy eyes slight pigmentation that is happening around the eyes this is just simply excellent you just need a tad bit that's all with your ring finger around your orbital bone you apply this spread it clockwise and anti-clockwise get that blood circulation running just get this and you will thank me later because this just has the ability of making this area look brighter and a little more texture wise refined you know i can't even explain it i think it's the ingredients uh you know especially if you're not a retinol fan then maybe this is the kind of eye cream you can reach out for all right let's start the rest of the makeup but before i do i want to show you behind the scenes of what took place in jovita's house just go and check that one out i'm going to be adding that yeah and i'll be right back flashback so i took out all my makeup i just wore my sunscreen i wore the aquilogica sunscreen right now i've been enjoying this uh, rosy nude uh this is in 02 from mama earth who would have thought that i would be using a mama earth lipstick it's just that this is quite hydrating to be honest it's not the best long lasting one it's got a little bit of that tacky feel but it's not drying on the lips and this shade and i am going to apply just a little tiny hint of that on my cheeks hello yeah let me just head off because i'm really late the choreographer is going to be there I'm pretty excited to see how this one turns around So I feel like some dramatic eye makeup for today. So first and foremost, I do want to put an eyeshadow primer. And because it's a shoot, I want colors to like last well without creasing. So I'm going to put that on the inner corner properly. Starting off with Sorbet, which is a very neutral pink. I'm going to put that all across my eyelids. The rest of my face, sorry, it broke, so I'm using the clip out here so that it doesn't spill out. This is from Nano Blur. 
and this primer went completely viral um, on TikTok as well as on Reels for actually instantly minimizing pores and texture. So I'm taking my favorite crease blender eyeshadow brush from uh, Pack by Jovita. I'm going to go for a nice pinky brown called Nutshell and I'm going to build the color. With this eyeshadow palette, I noticed that you have to really pack on the pigments. Now I'm going to take this baby pink called Salmon. I'm taking eyeshadow packer from Pack into Jovita. I'm going to start putting that on the outer corner. I'm going to take this very soft, almost like a brick brown color called chocolate. And just on the outer corner, I'm going to start building the color. I'm taking Verified's eyeliner brush. This is number 12. I've never used this before, but it's got like a solid tip to apply eyeliners. I'm taking the Inglot number 77 eyeliner gel. Oh, it's so nice, creamy and pitch black. And I really want a dramatic wing. Wow, I'm loving this brush because it gives you that perfect stiffness. This is a very dramatic eyeliner. I have gone all out because lately with my eye makeup, I usually keep it very simple, very achievable, but considering that it's a shoot, this is the look. Look at that pitch black color that comes out of Inglot. That is why I absolutely love, love this eyeliner gel. It's one of the best and it just stays put. So I'm going to take uh, this Juicy Chemistries Kajal in the shade Nude. And I'm just going to take that chocolate color eyeshadow. I'm just going to pack that on my waterline. So I'm taking the Cuffs and Lashes CS08. I'm going to take a little bit more of that eyeliner. I'm just going to put that on the outer corners of my eye. And taking a damp beauty sponge. I'm just spraying it with my setting spray. So it's time for foundation. I want a full coverage foundation. So I'm taking the Vizier Art Longwear Flawless Foundation. I'm in the shade Auburn. When I go to the studio, I think I'll apply the lipstick and blush. Right now, I'm just trying to get my base okay. And I love this sponge from, I think Hina, Hina Beauty had sent me this sponge. Just taking a loose powder. I'm going to put that all over my face. I'm also going to take a setting spray right now and spray that so that the base makeup is nice and set. So I'm taking um, K-Beauty's Cream Blush and I'm going to put that right now and once I go to the studio I'll put a powder blush on top of this. You know what guys, I'm just going to leave it like that because once I go to the studio, I think I will do the rest of the makeup. Uh, it's about 8.15 right now. I have exactly 20 minutes to pack my bags. Oops, all the brushes are falling out to pack my bags. Um, you know, get my hair all ready. Um, I don't know what to do with my hair, but I think I'll just curl it a little more right in the front or I will just tie it up and then leave some loose curls and a lot of um, flowers. That's my, that's my idea. So let's get ready uh, and then I'll take you with me because I have to go to the parlor where Jovi and I are gonna put our saris on. Someone's gonna drape it for us, which makes things a lot more easier. And, and the rest of the makeup I'm gonna do when I reach the studio. So all the grays are going to be covered up, but I just wanted to show you what the base looks like in natural lights. Not the best light out here because we've got a gray cast happening, but when, there you go. See, in natural lights, it looks really nice. And once I hit the studio and I add blush and a little more bronzer, we'll make it work. And this is the final look. I couldn't film because the setup out here, as you can see, 
it wasn't all that great and it was just two of us doing the entire makeup together so I think it looks really nice ready <laughs> <laughs> Do you even remember the steps? Yeah. Two, 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 two. One, two, three. And two, two, three. <laughs> Done. Let's do it then. Let's go. Ooh. One. Come on, boys. One, two, three, go. Look at this hottie. Look at her. Oh yeah. <laughs> This was just after I called you a hottie. Oh, <laughs> I heard monkey. So I was doing the. I said, look at this hottie and full rep, rep went. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, sir, sir. That's right. I can do this only when strike a pose. Hyping me up. The rest of the time, I'm like, hey. <laughs> the, the team. I got home, I changed. It was so hard to remove that ink blot. Uh, oh, I still have a little bit of that makeup. So hard to remove that eyeliner. But guys, I had the best time. We didn't even eat our food because we didn't want to waste any time. Uh, <laughs> we were like, oh, let's just finish it off. We didn't even want to spoil our lipstick and do retouch. Uh, you know, touch up basically, retouch. Uh, um, you know, where makeup is concerned, we just wanted to get it over and done with. We laughed a lot and it always happens. We're always monkeying around when we are together. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to end this video by showing you what the Onam collab looked like, just in case you missed it. And I think we should do more collabs. What do you guys think? Just leave your feedback in the comment section if you'd like us to do a lot more videos together. And yeah, I hope you have the most amazing festive season. Uh, Onam kickstarts it and it's going to end all the way till Diwali. And I hope the festive season brings you a lot of love, light and prosperity. And I shall see you in my next, you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Signing off with an old school way of, you know, the cliche and old school way of signing off. Don't forget to give it a big like and <laughs> subscribe to the channel and leave your feedback in the comment section. I love reading your feedback. 
I shall see you very soon in my next and don't forget to take advantage of the discount code from Vilva. I got it specially for you. It's not an affiliate code. So I got it specially for you guys to get your discounts and that's it. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. I've come so far from where